Okay, what's your name? Hi, my name is Sansara Taylor. Hi, Sansara. I am the goddess Artemis, protector of women and girls. I'm here to find out more about what you're doing. I'm so glad to talk to you, yes. So tell me, um, are you concerned about women's health? I'm extremely concerned about women's health and women's fundamental rights to control their own bodies and their own reproduction, yes. I'm very concerned about that as well. I think women should have control over their own bodies. I'm concerned that maybe if women don't have control over their own bodies, we'll go back to a darker time. That's true. I think especially young women don't know what it used to be like. Um, today, one in three women gets an abortion. It's perfectly normal. It's perfectly safe. It's perfectly um, moral. It's a responsible choice. If you are pregnant and you don't want to have a child, it's great to have an abortion. Um, and a lot, a lot, a lot of women used to get abortions before it was legal, too. But huge numbers of women, five to 10,000 women died every year. Five to 10,000 women died every year? In this country alone. And From abortions? From the lack of safe, legal abortions. Wow. Yeah. Well, I understand about that. I've been around for tens of thousands of years, and I've seen some pretty dark times. I remember when they attacked the Amazons. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was don't one remember, of them. I don't remember that, but I know these are crimes that are done by uh, the rise of capitalism and imperialism. Yeah, and patriarchy. Well, I've always been here to protect women and girls, and that's why I'm here today. So, do you think that if women's access to health care is taken away, that more women will die? Absolutely. Not only will many, many women die for lack of... I mean, already around the world, just to widen our lens, I know you're an international figure. That's true. Um, 47,000 women die every year today for lack of safe legal abortions because huge parts of the country, huge parts of the world, abortion is illegal and inaccessible. So, yes, more women will suffer, more women will die. And, um, but beyond that, I think it's also important to say millions of women, millions and millions of women will have their lives in enslaved to force motherhood, which is something that gets spoken about less. But if you're forced to have a child that you don't want, having a child can be beautiful if you want a child, but if you're forced to have a child that you don't want, it is a form of enslavement. Your life is foreclosed, you're trapped in an abusive relationship, you're driven into poverty, you're forced to give up your dreams and ambitions, and that's not good. Absolutely. Like sex, motherhood is only healthy if it's if, if it's willing, That's it's exactly only right. healthy if it's voluntary. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Nobody should be forced to be a mother if they don't want to, if they're not ready, or if it's dangerous for them in any way. You're exactly right, Artemis. I couldn't agree more. I think that women's health is an issue that everyone should be concerned about. I think that communities that support gender equality and women's health are happier, safer, and more prosperous places for everyone to live. You know, um, one of my favorite quotes is from Bob Avakian, who's the chairman of the Revolutionary Communist Party, and he says, you cannot break all the chains except one. You cannot say you want to be free of exploitation and oppression, except keep the oppression of women by men. And I think it's true. Everybody who dreams of any kind of liberation, any kind of justice, any kind of freedom for anybody, if you don't break the chains on women as part of that, none of us will be free. Absolutely. We all were born from mothers, and we all deserve to have a mother who's free and happy. That means free and happy children. It's true. It's great. It's been great talking to you, Agnes. Thank you so much for talking to me. High five. High five. Woo! There you go. <laughs>